Ay. Ay. Okay. Ay. Yo, welcome back to the Scotty Show. Tonight, we're going to be reacting to System of a Down, Tox City. Um, I actually have not listened to this album. I've only listened to one song, and that's Chop Suey. Um, but I'm just interested in how this whole entire album sounds, you know. Um, I feel like it's probably going to be dope as hell. Um, I mean, like I said, I'm a, I'm a fan of Chop Suey, so I'm pretty sure this whole entire album is probably just fire. Just by looking at all the plays this has on it, there, there's no way. Like, every song has, you know, 20 million and up. Shit, some songs got 300 something million right here. That's just, just crazy. 100 something million. But like, it's just wild. Chop Suey, fucking a billion. It's wild. It's wild as fuck. But, um, yeah, I, I'm just very curious about this. If y'all hear fireworks going on in the background, you know, it's July 3rd. I live in the Midwest. You know how they get down out here, bro. They be happy to the motherfucker about some, uh, 4th of July, man, and being, been letting off fireworks and shit. But, uh, other than that, let's get into this album. This is the Scotty Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Let's get it. First song we're going to react to is Prison Song. Loki, some of this reminds me a little bit of like Metallica, like a little bit of like uh, just like with that. Uh, I don't know what y'all what you would call it, like uh, where it's just like the the guitar just playing, just just like that, you know, for a long period of time in the song. Uh, kind of reminds me of Metallica a little bit. I saw Metallica live at Lollapalooza, and that was that was a pretty crazy experience. Um, and there were like other bands that like I've seen live, but like Metallica was just definitely something that was like I never thought that I would have an experience like that. But uh, we can keep this going. Following the right movement to clamp down with your iron fist, drugs became conveniently available for all the kids. Following the right movement to clamp down with your iron fist, drugs became conveniently available for all the kids. Mother, I'm not crack my smack, my bitch, right here in Hollywood. Nearly two million Americans are incarcerated in the prison system, the prison system of the U.S. They're trying to build a prison. They're trying to build a prison. Oh, this is crazy. They're really rapping about, I mean, not rapping, but I mean, there are elements of rap in it, which I really do like. Um, I don't want to say like it reminds me of like ICP or anything like that, because like these two are two separate, you know, things, but like you have like that Linkin Park element as well. I just like when people, and the same with Rage Against the Machine and stuff like that. I like how they like, kind of have like that that little bit of like rap element uh, and they bring it with like, you know, like that rock and shit like that. Um, but it's just crazy how they're just making music about, you know, shit, just fucking capitalism and how it's just, they're trying to build a business or something. <laughs> like, and like they're just expressing it, you know, in this kind of way. It was wild. <laughs> Drag offenders, fill your prisons, you don't even flinch All our taxes paying for your wars against the new non-rich Minor drug offenders, fill your prisons, you don't even flinch All our taxes paying for your wars against the new non-rich Baby, 
I just like I just love how like all the instruments just like play like in unison. That is like my favorite part of like this kind of like music. And like you just hear them just like going like like that shit is crazy, bro. Like that is literally like my favorite part of like this kind of music, like hands down. How like all these live instruments are playing like in unison. It's just so wild. Successful drug policy shows that treatment should be increased. And law enforcement decreased while abolishing mandatory minimum sentences. And another thing about this is, is that like there are rappers that like rap about stuff like this about the prison system and like, you know, minor drug offenders and stuff like that and how the prison system has like, you know, uh, incarceration has like doubled and things like that. And System of a Down's delivery is just different, you know, from anybody else's delivery within their genre, you know, and just like how that there's rappers that rap about it and they all have different deliveries, you know what I'm saying? And some people may not like it and some people do like it, but you know, that's just, you know, what you gotta think about is like, there's so many other people that make music about this same exact subject, but it's all about the delivery and how you deliver it and you know, how you wanna be authentic with it. Do you, do you wanna be authentic and you know, create your own style in your own way, or do you want to, you know, follow a, follow someone else's way that they created, you know what I'm saying? So you just got to balance that kind of thing. That's my drug policy shows that treatment should be increased. Oh. And law enforcement decreased while abolishing mandatory minimum sentences. Utilizing drugs to pay for secret wars around the world. Drugs are now your global policy. Now you police the globe. Drug money is used to rig elections and train brutal corporate sponsored dictators around the world. They're trying to build a prison. 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 For you and me to live in. Another prison to stop. Another prison to stop. Another prison to stop. For you and me to live in. They're trying to build a prison. They're trying to build a prison. They're trying to build a prison for you and me. Yo, that would low key be wild as hell to like see that live in in person. Cause I I've seen like Mochla Doma, like I said, I've seen Metallica, I've seen Mochla Doma, um, I've seen uh, I, I've seen Wick of Face perform live in Chicago, and he had people that opened up for him that had like a a crazy. I heard like it was like some type of like metal, bro. It was something like that. They was talking in that demon voice and shit like that. That. Whoa! Like that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? It was going pretty crazy, but um, and like I've seen like just so many different bands like have like delivery of like how they talk about these kind of things, and like and most of the and most of the music, like especially like you know when I when uh, I learned you know uh, I read lyrics from uh, you know Mayhem and stuff like that. They talk about nuclear wars and and uh, and a lot of other like black metal bands that talks about stuff like that and how the world's gonna burn and shit like that and. It's just crazy. Um, everyone has like their own delivery of how they feel about you know uh, government corruption and nuclear wars and uh, wars in general, and just about you know human nature and stuff. And uh, it's just all you know d delivery. So uh, yeah, I, I like. It. I think this is pretty dope. I would say I like it. I think it's pretty dope. I would want to watch it live. I would want to see it live. Uh, next song I'll get into is Needles. This is like my favorite part of this kind of music. Hearing all of the instruments in unison is just insane. I cannot disguise all the stomach pains and the walking of the kings when you will come out and you whisper up to me in your life of tragedy. But I cannot go. Can you eat the last of me? Oh, I will be free in you, a parasite. Just find another host, just another fool to roast. Cause you. Tells me what to do. Yo, my tape tells me where to go. Pull the tape out of your eyes. Pull the tape out 
This is crazy because like I, I tape one bells come out of your house, I think. I cannot deny all the evil traits and the filling of the crates when you come out and you slip the rip to me and you pick an edge of sea, but I gotta go. Yeah, you eat the last of it. This is crazy. I can't believe this got like 20 something million plays. <laughs> Yo, like, bro, I wonder like who is going crazy to this song right now? That, like, I, I wonder what like that, just that, I I would want to see who gets listed, lit to this live at, at a system of a down show. Like, cause I know that not every single song is someone's favorite song on an artist's album. Some people are like, okay, this song is like pretty decent, but like it's not a song that I'm going to be listening to on the daily. But yeah, I just like, this is a very, very specific, this is like some odd future type shit, you know what I'm saying? This is a very specific, you know, song. <laughs> Also, uh, we, we had to do this reaction because, you know, Lil Uzi did the, uh, you know, the cover to Chop Suey and honestly, I don't know if I like it or not, you know, looking back on it. I don't know. Hey! 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 Um, so I think about that song, I don't know. I would, that's not something that I play in my car. <laughs> But the song before it, yeah, I would play it. Uh, I, I, you know, I, was, I, I would, you know, listen to it at the gym. I probably listen to it in my car. I don't know if I listen to it with people, uh, other people in the car, but per, m by myself, probably just so I can just, you know, listen to other music and stuff. And maybe if I want to like switch things up, you know, what I'm saying just play by myself type shit. It's, it's like a song that you know be just for me. You know, what I'm saying. Or if you know there are other people that were fans of System of a Down, then you know I, I would probably listen to it around them as well. So, yeah. It's a, it's a very like specific, you know, kind of like thing, you know, for me, but, um, next song we'll get into is Deer Dance. Let's get it. Like, it's just so weird how music went from this, you know, this kind of like style of music, like rock, or uh, I don't, let me know in the comments what genre would you guys consider this? Is this rock? Is it metal? Is it heavy? Heavy metal? Is it uh, sometimes like I don't be knowing like, all right, what, what things are. So I just like, you know, just say rock or whatever. Um, and then when people say rock, you know, some people say like Johnny Cash or, you know, like it's like Johnny Cash is like real country music or whatever. 
and they say like rock and stuff like that and <clears throat> and then i hear like so many different like takes on like country and rock and stuff like that but um yeah i'll put this in like rock or like you know maybe like heavy metal i don't know um put it in that kind of category but we went from like this genre went from pe people making like this kind of music to like I don't know people like cosplaying as like this kind of like you know thing now where it's like I don't know it's just it just doesn't seem like authentic where like uh you know these people back then like when you watched them you like believed that they were like this like group or like these people or whatever you like believed it you know what I'm saying you saw it like on the TV saw like, the, the music video or whatever you believed like or you like had like just just some feeling that like okay these people are like you know this is them and like you don't see them trying to like make like tiktoks and stuff like that or trying to like you know it's just the internet kind of like watered down a lot of different things you know what i'm saying and it kind of like broke like that uh the veil you know around a lot of like artists so i think you can kind of like tell like which stuff is like a gimmick and which stuff is real you know what I'm saying? Which is a kind of like a good thing, you know what I'm saying? Because now, you know, with the internet, you can honestly spot out what is real and what is fake. You know what I'm saying? In, if you're not easily influenced. But let's keep this going. With a smile, young the staples center, you can see America with this dire for avenging this grace. Peace for loving youth against the brutality of plastic existence. Pushing on our children with the folly of dramatics that like to push the league around. singer's name but um that dude has a really good voice actually like that song i think it's a, like i said like there's just so many like other songs that are you know that talk about these same subjects it's just like a different delivery and you know this is like in the delivery of like rock heavy metal metal whatever you want to call it um i just think that you know it, once you like get like you know what they're talking about and you just understand that it's in a different delivery form you're like okay i kind of get this and then you listen to all the instruments and everything else that goes into making this song you then realize like yo this is crazy and then you know you kind of like were they kind of like you know were they like super like liberal like uh i guess that's the kind of question were they like super just super, super liberal like rock stars or whatever because they just talk about a lot of 
or just super little liberal uh, anarchists or whatever. Well, I guess uh, liberalism, you know, came from anarchy, so you know that could be one thing. But uh, all right, we're gonna get into the next song, Jet Pilot. pretty crazy in this like just every everything about this is just out of like you know for me like it may have been the norm actually I don't even think it was the norm for like the time that it came out but like the the way like this writing is and everything it just does not seem like you know the way a song is like structured or like a way a song is like written you know what I'm saying but yet they have such like a impactful delivery and there's like a lot of energy in it and believability in it it's just that like it's just so impactful in that kind of way and um so far i would say this is a pretty decent album you know what i'm saying for the time that it came out and some of the stuff is still you know holding up you know some of the things that are being talked about in the song you know so you know some of these songs are are still standing the test of time so uh let's keep it going <laughs> Next song we are reacting to is X. population hmm I'm curious on that I wonder I, I want to know what their take is on that Fire. 
And I'm very curious on a lot of people's thoughts on this. Do you guys think that there needs to be less humans on the earth, or do you think we need more humans on the earth? Um, more, I wonder what you guys' thoughts is on like human population and like uh, how we should move as like a species. I, w- I would like this to be like a. I wish it could be like an open platform to where we could like talk about those kind of things. But sometimes, you know. It's it's kind of hard to have like those conversations without like offending someone. So I'd rather know your guys' thoughts on them. Let me know in the comment section. That's crazy. That listen to this, I'm asking you guys your opinion on uh, human population. <laughs> but like this is like you know the kind of like the kind of thought provoking things that like you know this kind of music you know you kind of ask yourself sometimes. All right, that song like I said, that's a very niche song. Cause like, I don't know if a lot of people, like I said, this, this, uh, that may have a hell of millions of plays, but there's billions of people on the planet. So that's a very small market out of like all the human beings on the planet. But, um, that's a very niche like song. I don't know how many people believe in that. You know what I'm saying? We don't need to multiply humans to die. Like that's crazy. But also maybe it's not crazy. I don't know. Let me know what you in the comments. But next time we're going to react to is Chop Suey. Let's get it. And uh, shout out to Lil Uzi for covering it. I still think that uh, obviously nobody's version is better than System of a Down. Let's, let's be real. But let's get it. We're rolling suicide. I thought he about to say wake up right there. system of a down is they know what chop suey is like they have to know like that is like the only song that like literally the only song i knew by by a uh, system of a down all these other songs by by a uh, system of a down i have never heard them before but, <clears throat> but i've always known this song you know what i'm saying this is one song that i just know i, I feel like a lot of people just know this song <laughs> his like singing ability i really like the way that he sings in this uh song his vocals is is super on point and like he can go from like singing so soft-heartedly to like the like in in and then like saying like these uh saying like the words in the song like so like dynamically wake up grab your for a little makeup how the cars play the way shake up? Like, bro, like, it's just so crazy how, like, he can go from that to singing soft-heartedly 
to going back into that, to going grimy with it. He's just so, uh, he has so many different levels um, and so many different like styles that he can get into that he just all encompasses it into like one thing on every single song pretty much. But uh, I really like it, how he leaned into more like the soft part of singing on this song as well. Um, it just stands out so much. I don't know why, but this, uh, I don't know why this reminded me of the band Weezer, but we got to do a, a reaction to their album too, because the only song I really know by them is, uh, my name is Jonas, -na 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 -na. I'm carrying the wind, thanks for all you shown us, <laughs> well, that shit, that shit is fire, but this is how it goes, only not to make it, bro, like that song, bro, that song goes crazy, bro, God. There's so many songs that I like, but uh, this song is obviously 10 out of 10, most, one of the most iconic songs ever made. All right, next song I'm going to get into is Bounce. song i think it was just like a silly just a silly like song just to throw in there like a filler song you know what i'm saying just for people to get lit to you know like in the middle of the concert you know what i'm saying and you just want to put like some dope shit and like some shit for everybody to just jump up and down to and go wild to i fuck with it uh, we're gonna get into the next song for us so let's get it Child. 
I just wonder what makes someone write write music like this, and like how do they make it make sense? Speak with like we just look at these lyrics. It says, "Walk with me, my little child, to the forest of the Nile. Speak with me, my only mind. Walk with me until the time, and make the forest turn to wine. You take the legend for the fall. You saw the product. Why can't you see that you are my child? Why can't? Why don't you know that you are my child? To everyone in the world that I'm you. Take this promise to the end of you. Honestly, this is good rapper right here. This is good. This is some bars. I might be going. I might be going cap. Walk with me, my little friend. Take this promise to the end. Speak with me, my only mind. Walk with me until the end and make the forest turn to sand. You take the legend for the fall. You saw the product. Why can't you see that you're my child? Why don't you know that you're my child? Tell everyone in the world that I'm you. This is crazy. What do you guys think that they are talking about in this song? What do you think that the subject of the matter is with this? With this specific song? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments. Playing the drums with this song probably go crazy. I feel like playing the instruments would be way more fun than singing the lyrics. Because you gotta play in unison and stuff, but that's just, just fire. Destruction and um, destruction and ap post apocalypse, apocalypse is like our child, and we don't see that you, we don't, are, are we not seeing that we are our own demise? Are we not seeing that we are our the, you know, the, ch the children of like this uh, new age way of like doing things? You made the weapons for us all, just look at us now, like. No more TVs in the sky or no yeah, no televisions in the air, no circus engines in the chair, you made the weapons for us all. Like are we like the children of like this, like that, you know, or like are we not realizing that we are birthing our own demise or that our demise is our child and we don't realize it? Or why can't you say you are my child? Or does the destruction not realize that it's the I don't know. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is a big mind fuck now that I'm thinking about it. My
fire. I fuck with it. Now that I, like I'm thinking about it, I'm just like, all right, yeah, this actually has like a hell of like a deeper meaning than what it what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's pretty crazy. All right, next song we're doing is A T W A. Let's get it. I feel like I'm gonna like this song a lot. Could be a daily listen for me. It just reminds me of like old like uh, American Pie like type movies, um, just like uh, Transformers for some reason. Shia LaBeouf only um, kind of reminds me a little bit of um, just like those, just like those kind of like you know things that are like very like. Like those kind of like in those kind of lanes of like movies, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be like college type movies or like something like you know Transformers, um, back when you know Charlotte Buff was playing Sam w Wick Wicky, you know what I'm saying? And um, a few other things, but yeah, those are the kind of things that just stand out to me. Like movies in those kind of categories. But uh, let's keep it going. Ooh, Disturbia! Hell yeah, Disturbia! If you know about Disturbia, you the goat. Not so pretty All the world I've seen before me Passing by said that song the song is a 10 out of 10 for me i like the the opening i like every like you know how it goes from like i don't feel anymore like i like uh i don't care about how you uh i don't feel uh you don't care about how i feel i don't feel that anymore like i like that you know i, I just like how it just switches up i like the lyrics I like the writing for this song like a lot and um i just think it's overall fire Next song, Science, let's get it. <laughs> I love 
low-key might have to put the shades on because these lights is like fucking with my eyes. Fighting up the disease programming of century, 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 century. Science has to recognize the single most important element of human existence. Letting the reins go to the unfolding is faith, 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 faith. Science has failed our world. Science has failed our mother. Eyes. Science has to recognize the single most. Better with shades on. These people are talking about science is, is failing and like they talking about like the spirit and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, like this, like I said, there's so many different, like you could even talk about how Ab Soul raps about that kind of stuff and like Joey Badass, and, like the whole pro era movement and just like the, like the Beast Coast movement in general, like when Black Bush Zombies would talk about stuff like this and. Capital Steez, rest in peace, Capital Steez. And then there, there were so many other artists besides, you know, on the East Coast. There were artists on the West Coast and stuff like that. Uh, whether it be old school rap or new school rap, you know, they were still they were rapping about, like, you know, science not being the end all be all, but like the spirit and, like, you know, humans, you know, tapping in with like their spiritual self and being self aware and those kind of things is like more important. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, like, yo, where do we draw the line with that kind of stuff? Like, where do we, you know, start to focus on, you know, humanity and less on, like, you know, technology and science? You know what I'm saying? Like, where, when do we, uh, you know, kind of learn how to make time for those kind of things and not just always double down on, we're going to do this for technology and profits and, 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 you know, and use science for profits and stuff like that instead of using science for the the advancement of humanity, which, uh, you know, in many ways, science has been used for the advancement of humanity, but I mean, like, righteously, you know what I'm saying? So this is this is a crazy thought provoking kind of like song right here. That was crazy. Another like song that like uh, another thought provoking song that you know that's on here. You know what I'm saying? Everything that they're talking about is still relevant till this day. You know what I'm saying? So this this is kind of still standing the test of time. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty wild. But uh, next song we'll get into is Shimmy. Let's get it. Education, education, now you're a go. Education, education, now you're a go. 
It's like they're giving their alternative perspective on like the regular system of the ways of life and um, through just music, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I could tell that, you know, they believe in other way of living and thinking about things. So I respect that and I fuck with that heavy. And, you know, these are things that you should think about, you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to have children one day and you're going to want to try to explain the best to your ability of what you think life is all about. They're going to ask you these kind of things. They're going to ask you how trees and grass, the purpose of those kind of like things. They're going to ask you the purpose of birds and, and the purpose of all this kind of this life shit, the purpose of humanity, the purpose of, of, of having kids and, and, and things like that. And, um, this, you know, some people just like to listen to it. You know, I, I like to listen to music to enjoy it as well. But these people definitely have a message that they're trying to like push. And, you know, a lot of these songs have been very thought provoking. That's like one thing I can say about System of a Down so far. Of our nation, Bro, I'm so happy that I started investing more into Chapstick, man. I want a Chapstick uh, brand to uh, sponsor me, honestly. I, I like Chapstick a lot. Of our nation, subjugation of damnation, subjugation of oh, I like that song too. Like I said, it was very thought provoking and, you know, I pretty much gave a lot of analysis in the middle of that song. So the next song we're going to get into is Psycho. Let's get it. So just in between that where he goes like soft and then he's like psycho cocaine grumpy crazy like it's just crazy the show, you really don't have to be a hoe from the time you were a psycho grumpy cocaine crazy psycho grumpy cocaine crazy psycho grumpy go makes you high makes you high makes you really wanna go so, psycho grumpy cocaine crazy psycho grumpy go makes you high
Wishing to watch your spirit fully drop From the time you were a psycho Groupie, cocaine, crazy So you want to see the show You really don't have to be a hoe From the time you were a psycho Groupie, cocaine, crazy This is fire right here. This is what I like the most right here. Alright, that's the end of that song right there. Um, this song is a 10 out of 10 for me. I really like it a lot. It's just so many, like, like I said, just talking about just so many different, this, this album touches so many different subjects. Like, and he's probably talking about a girl that he was dealing with psycho groupie cocaine crazy. Like that is like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's definitely, this song is directed towards somebody, you know what I'm saying? And he's just talking about an experience. Uh, next song that we're gonna get into is Ariel's. Let's get it. This song look here remind me of uh Creed, the band Creed, and um a little bit of uh who's that group that made it's been a while since I oh stained. I gotta do reactions to we hey, you know I have to do reactions to stain because I, I I never listened to like their whole album, but I feel like it'd be fire. Swimming through the void, we hear the word, we lose ourselves, but we find it all. We are the ones that want to play Always want to go, but you never want to stay and We are the ones that want to choose Always want to play, but you never want to lose Oh my god, the song is called Ariel's. Uh, my, my sunglasses made that eye look like a T for some reason. Or, 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 but even if it was, it would even be arterials. But Ariel's, Ariel's in the sky. I got what's the arter arterials? Arterials. <laughs> or, did, or did I say Ariel's or did I say arterials? Good thing I only do one takes with this shit. Like, y'all can tell me in the comments, bro. <laughs> He just remind me of just riding through like the back roads and like seeing just the, the sun, the cornfields, like the and like just like big like fields of just open space and stuff like that. And you're just driving on the road and you just you know just just driving. You just want to drive. You know what I'm saying? When we hear the word, we lose ourselves, but we find it all. Cause we are the ones that wanna play Always wanna go but you never wanna stay
think uh, he means by aerials so up high, aerials in the sky, aerials so like what are what do you mean? What do you think he means by aerials? What are aerials? I gotta look that up. What are aerials? Let's let's keep it going. Uh, song like i said like my, now that i'm like you know we we are near like the last song where we're at the last song pretty much um a lot of the music is very thought-provoking and there's lots of different meanings to this album so many different aspects so many different outlooks on uh their views of uh things you know what i'm saying and it's a lot of really uh well-written music um, but let's get into the last song. Last song is Arto. Ar Arto? Arto. Let's get it. just sit enjoy this and like feel what i'm feeling as i listen to this you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna we just listen to a lot of craziness and i feel like you know this is just like the ending to just balance everything out very surprised that they ended with something like that um maybe someone's family is from like a tribe or something like that maybe let me know in the comment sections but overall i really like this album it was very thought-provoking it had a lot of different like political viewpoints and um societal viewpoints and economical and um geological you know viewpoints when it came to like the earth how we're affecting it how we are affecting ourselves how um certain things in society are meant for us to fail and to be like uh, captives and slaves and things like that and uh, I think it's just important you know this album is very important uh, now that I look back on it it talked about a lot of important subjects the delivery probably wasn't as digestible to like you know a lot of people because you know I could play this around to some people and some people may be like oh, this doesn't sound good I don't, I don't like this I wouldn't listen to it but me, I, I was a fan of this kind of like music, you know, growing up, you know what I'm saying, as a kid. I not only, because my dad was a DJ, you know, he would mainly play rap music, obviously, but 
Um, I grew a love for music because my grandfather was in a blues band as well. Um, so I got to you know I got to know about like the guitar and and things like that. And then I grew up around you know some friends that love street music and rap music, and I have friends that love country music, rock music, and things like that. And I just became just so accustomed to a lot of different sounds. And um, I'm just happy that I can you know do these kind of reactions and um, make these kind of videos and you know document it and have you guys you know share what you guys feel as well you know about the album and how it makes you feel but i really like this you know this is definitely um i'll put it in the uh eight out of ten i'll put it in eight out of ten category but other than that let me know what y'all think in the comments this is scotty show uh please like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell peace out